All right, I just go ahead and start the recording. Okay, recording has started. So I was showing you this tool, which is called InstaPage. All right, so I've logged in already. And the moment you log in, it comes up with this details, right? I mean, you can create a new page, which is a landing page. Now there are several templates available. Okay, The way templates I was showing you with WordPress, right? The templates are ready-made and you just have to upload across your dummy content. I mean, dummy content is there. You just have to replace dummy content and create yours. Click onto the template. So other options are also there. I'll tell you about that later on. Now, as per the overall uh, marketing objective, what exactly you want? Let's say you, you got uh, a webinar for which you need, uh, you know, for which you need registrations and so forth. You can... Uh, go for the webinar related landing page. You want, you are, let's say, offering across an ebook through a landing page, or you've got an event to promote across, or you want to promote across an app. Let's look at the app one since we have to go ahead and uh, do the mobile marketing one, right? So let's say, let's assume that we have got an app for which we want app installs, all right? So these are various templates which are over here. Okay, the pretty less, I think. I'll just show you the other ones. It's my coffee in the end. So a form fill up one is like this, which is like for lead generation purpose. So these are all lead generation ones. I'll just go ahead and pick and choose any lead generation related one. So this is with the video, this is with. Let's say I go with this particular one. I'm clicking onto this one. All right. Pretty easy stuff, not much of a rocket science. The moment I click onto this, as you can see, I can go ahead and change the text. I can go ahead and change. So this is an image basically, it's not a text. So I can delete this, I can, right. I can edit this part, the headline, whatever I want to. Right. And similarly, all this, I can change this, this image and so forth. Now, these are some small little things. You can anytime change this. This is landing page, which you can do. Update the whatever testimonials and you're looking for. Now, this is the end thing which you want, right? You want people to come here, type in their name, email address and so forth. You can edit this part also. Do you want more fields to be added? Like other than email address and name. So it says, uh, do you want a checkbox kind of a thing, drop down text area? You can just play around with these, right? Uh, you will get to know. You can edit the text, which is over here also, in, in terms of just uh, get in touch today. You want to change this to some something else. You can do that. You, can, you want to add a field, right? Now, the other thing is, since we were doing, uh, what do you say, mobile marketing also. With mobile marketing, what happens is uh, you have to make sure the page is responsive for mobile devices also. So this is how the page will look like for a desktop device. You can see over here it says mobile. Mobile is disabled. If the page mobile, it might get scattered. The content might not be that great. This tool provides us the opportunity to see and create across a mobile version also. Let's say same URL on a mobile screen is going to look like this. Now we have enabled it. I can change my content. I can change the content of the mobile page also the way I want it. All right. So this will change for both. I mean, if I make a change in the mobile version. No, I have to make it separately. Separately. Separately on desktop and separately for mobile. If I do some changes over here, it will not get reflected. Uh, this is just the default view, default uh, you know, uh, theme for the mobile 
in the default content which was there for the desktop one. I have to make changes in both of them separately. Now there is another thing uh, which is, so there are several great features about this tool. One is the mobile thing is there, I can go ahead and edit, ready-made templates are available, right, which are already good looking templates and templates are also classified on the basis of what to, uh, objective you want to achieve, whether it's a webinar, mobile app, a lead generation or, and so forth. Even after this, you know, the moment somebody uh, is clicking onto this, you want a thank you page to be open up. Thank you page, uh, a template hai pe. thank you page, I will just show you that. One great another feature is A-B testing. Now what is A-B testing, I'll just tell you. Let's say A version is this, okay. A version is this, uh, let's say if somebody clicks onto my uh, advertisement and I've got this page attached to my advertisement, so this page will open up, pretty, pretty simple. But if I'm not really sure whether this is a great design or not, Okay, because design design is a very subjective thing. I might like white background. I might like the you know uh, blue color text on it. But uh, let's say my audience do not like white. They might like red. They might like the, uh, yellow and orange and so forth. I can create another version by clicking onto. Uh, so for what I did first was I was I had clicked onto uh, A/B testing. This is variation name. I'm clicking onto plus and new variation. Now this is version B. How I got to know this is version B or it's done. This is variation B, right? Now, if I'll go ahead and make changes, let's say I'm just go ahead and make some changes in variation B. This time I am placing this image over here and I'm shifting this entire thing. So sometimes I'm not sure whether putting across, uh, let's say, a form filler functionality on the left of the screen is better or the right of the screen is better. So instead of going ahead and uh, making assumptions, it's better to run both the pages. Both the pages. ad run URL URL landing page But sometimes variation A will open up with uh, form fill up on the right, and variation B will open up for certain occasions which will have form fill up on the left, right? So what will happen that my, uh, what do you say, paid uh, ad, hai, let's say that gets across 100 clicks. If my paid ad gets across 100 clicks, 50 times this will open up and 50 times this will open up. I will tell you that the both versions will be the conversion rate is in the left or right. I will show you another one, uh, what do you say? I do have certain landing pages for which uh, the reports are there with me, which does show the details for landing pages separately. Version A and version B, dono ka information pata hai. Let's see which one have I got one. Alright, so this is not on my other one. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll just check for this. So this, uh, what do you say, tool gives us the opportunity of checking the analytics also for our individual landing pages respectively. Conversion rate, we have conversion we have set up karna padta hai. plus uh, the clicks and so forth for all the variations. Adwords are mostly. Adwords are fast. Here is a little bit of impressions clicks conversion for that respective landing page
I think the internet is slow. उसमें वेरिएशन बी में मेरे को 50 क्लिक पे ही नए गए नए 50 थे उसमें मेरे को 20 कन्वर्जन्स आए इट ऑटोमेटिकली शोस मी दैट वेरिएशन बी इज वर्किंग वेल उसमें 10 कन्वर्जन्स है ए में और इसमें 20 कन्वर्जन्स है इट मींस वेरिएशन बी इज गुड आई शुड गो एंड कंटिन्यू विद वेरिएशन बी दिस इज जस्ट एबी टेस्टिंग मींस यू आर डूइंग टेस्टिंग फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल एंड यू गॉट टू वेरिएशंस नाउ नॉट ओनली टू वेरिएशंस यू कैन डू यू कैन हैव मल्टीपल वेरिएशंस यू कैन हैव वेरिएशन सी यू कैन हैव वेरिएशन डी एंड सो फॉर ऑलराइट another thing is the uh, under uh, overall definition of the save testing is that you keep everything constant in variation a and variation b and only one thing to be variable variation so humne kya kiya variation a and variation b mein ye constant tha ye fix tha ye fix tha sirf humne isko utha ke idhar kiya aur isko utha ke idhar kiya the other portion is also remaining the same you can play around with these also but you usually try to keep only one thing a uh, variable and keep everything to be constant as fixed so internet marketing is all together a lot of testing a lot of uh, uh, you know hit and trial are needed because at the end of the day you don't know what your customers will look really like at the end, uh, so even with not with your landing pages with your uh, advertisement copies also jo humne headline one headline two or description likha tha usme bhi banner ads mein bhi even testing hoti hai you create two campaigns you create two ads and then you try to run both the ads and then you see which one perform better so hoga kya kabhi wo dikhega kabhi wo dikhega ad rotation hota hai same keywords ke liye jab humne ad group mein ad group was the level number 3 level number 4 was ads and keywords so let's say mere teen keywords hai uske andar ek ad group ke andar aur teen keywords mein mera ek ek ad ni maine do ad banaye hain to ad number 1 and ad number 2 for those three keywords if one of the keyword is typed in either my ad 1 or either my ad 2 will open up Sometimes add one, sometimes add two. मेरे को पता चल जाएगा दोनों की performance से कौन सा better है. So this is a mobile version. I also told you. Some more things are there. I can go and optimize this page also. When I click on to SEO, it tells me to put in title, meta description, same thing, and keywords. अगर duplicate content का issue बन रहा है, we understood that. then i can put in across a canonical link url also canonical link url will do what it i would be able to give the link of that page which search engine should consider for ranking or is any rank karega wo right and there is another thing which is called favicon favicon kya hota hai favicon ye jo uh, icon mein dikh raha <coughs> jaise ye yahoo mail ka ye dikh raha hai ye hai we transfer ka ye hai uh, uska Dropbox ka and this is Times Now. I open Times Now, so T N N. So Favicon is this. I can upload a Favicon, so which will be there for my uh, page actually. Kind of you can uh, most of the times you put across a logo, but you can put across anything else also which you want. Something which is visible on the tab with with the title tag, right? That's called a Favicon. So you can upload that also. So this is with the SEO settings. You can change background fonts and so forth. Social information भी दे सकते हो. So what will happen is, आप जो यहाँ पे social में आप गए first of all, the moment you clicked into social, I'm oh, sorry, not this. See you, social. जैसे हम कोई page को share करते हैं किसी भी Facebook पे, LinkedIn पे या किसी भी Twitter पे भी automatically उसको preview आ जाता है. Automatic आता है ना? Automatically वो fetch कर लेता है कुछ text. 
ऑटोमेटिकली कुछ इमेज टेक्स्ट वो इमेज फेच कर देता है ये तो हो गया ऑटोमेटिक प्रोसीजर हमारा सेम लैंडिंग पेज के साथ हमारा ऑटोमेटिकली आएगा लेट्स अगर हम कोई भी यू आर एल उठा के टाइप कर देता है फेसबुक पे बट लेट से यू वॉन्ट टू कस्टमाइज दैट ऑल्सो फॉर यू लैंडिंग पेज यू वॉन्ट की समबडी विल शेयर माई पेज ऑन टू फेसबुक आई वॉन्ट दिस इमेज टू बी देर इन द प्रिव्यू आई वॉन्ट दिस टेक्स टू बी देर इन द प्रिव्यू सो वो आप यहाँ पे टाइप कर सकते हो सो होगा कि मैं यहाँ पे जो थमनेल इमेज दिस इज थमनेल इमेज बेसिकली वट एवर इमेज वट एवर यू नो Uh, this short message description and uh, so forth will come for twitter it's separate which is 140 characters moment somebody will share this either on their twitter or facebook that respective message and the image which we have provided over here only that will come who automatically kaise fetch nahi karega main kuch third or koi aur teesri image de do jo is na ye wali hai na ye wali hai na ye wali hai koi aur third image to dikh nahi rahi hai yahan pe Let's I give another third image, a fourth image that will come. All right. So this is another one. So this is this is some great features about this tool. Analytics, you are already know. Conversion goals, I have to set up. Is my uh, is it a form submission? If I want, I can click onto this. If me, how many form submission I get, it will keep telling me. Let's say there is an external conversion tracking. I can do that. Here, pe wo copy code option aa raha hai. Do you remember in the Google AdWords when we were doing that conversion uh, setup on the top? There was this conversion conversion tag uh, code was there. You can copy that code and paste it over here. But Google AdWords may be fit. Show that. That's no. Nah, that's how it will integrate. Sir, I'll have to see it. Then I'll have more confidence. In it. Right. So conversion analytics analytics will show us uh, what all things or the baki or thoda advanced and HTML वगैरह आप इसमें और add on कर सकते हैं. If you want some additional features to be added on this page. All right. Settings में तो ये सारा कुछ हो गया. Okay. Now if you want a headline to be given, paragraph more to be added, image, video you want to embed, another form fill up, you want to add some few. शेप्स जोग्रामेटिकल शेप्स मैप अगर आपको इंटीग्रेट करना है देर इज दिस सोशल आईकॉन्स इफ यू वॉन्ट टू इंटीग्रेट ऑफ फेसबुक एंड सो फोर्थ सो कितने लोगों ने उसको शेयर करा है पेज को वो सारे नंबर्स भी यहाँ पे डायरेक्टली आ जाएंगे राइट एंड वेबसाइट पे नहीं वेबसाइट पे कर सकते हो बट उसमें कोई प्लग इन्स डालने पड़ेंगे एक्स्ट्रा वर्ड प्लस हाँ प्लग इन चाहिए तो ऑटोमेटिकली आ जाएगा टाइमर लेट से अगर आपका इवेंट प्रमोशन काइंड ऑफ अ थिंग है सो यू ट्राइंग टू प्रमोट अक्रॉस एन इवेंट और उसका कुछ वो चल रहा है काउंट डाउन चल रहा है यू नो दीज मनी दीज मेनी थिंग्स आर रिमेनिंग इन सो फॉर सो यू कैन डू दैट ऑल्सो दीज मेनी मिनट्स आर लेफ्ट बिफोर यू कैन बाय अ टिकट राइट Anything which which I want to. So these are the things you can go ahead and uh, save this and then publish it across by connecting it. So pub, you click on to publish. But it was saying mobile page was not finished. WordPress is the option. Drupal is another content management system. All right. Uh, if you have a website on WordPress, this is the most easier one. So click on to WordPress. and mera uh, actually connected hai to it's showing like this otherwise what you do is you go to your wordpress based website and uh, so one thing is that over here you have typed in uh, what do you say uh, publish it through wordpress yahan pe aapne itne step step tak kar diya then you go to your wordpress based website and there is a uh, plugin by the name of insta page only you go ahead and uh, download that वो डाउनलोड करोगे वहां पे आपका यूजर नेम पासवर्ड जो आपका इंस्टा पेज का है ना क्योंकि यू यू एक्चुअली यूज ना यू यू साइंड अप ऑन दैट वो आप टाइप इन करोगे ऑटोमेटिकली वो कनेक्ट हो जाएगा कनेक्ट हो जाएगा और फिर बोलेगा कि आपको अपने लैंडिंग पेज का यूआरएल क्या रखना है जो आपको वेबसाइट का डोमेन नेम है वो तो सेम ही रहेगा उसके आगे का पोर्शन जो है वो आपको टाइप कर देगा दैट्स ऑल दैट्स व्हाई इट्स बीइंग क्रिएटेड द लैंडिंग पेज इज एक्चुअली पार्ट ऑफ वेबसाइट ओनली राइट राइट Now it's up to you whether you want to uh, connect certain pages of your website with it or not. That's up to you. But that URL will come. Basically, personal specific information they need, like for any personal information they need. I have to make a landing page. I have to make a website. So whenever a person will give on that option, 
और प्लस वेरी गुड लुकिंग ऑल्सो मोबाइल वर्जन भी आ रहा है सब कुछ यहाँ पे आ रहा है कन्वर्जन भी ट्रैक कर पा रहा हूँ एस भी उसका कर पा रहा हूँ इवन की जो सोशल का मेरे को शेयर करने पर मैसेज दिखाना चाह रहा हूँ वो भी मैं बता पा रहा हूँ तो दस सेवरल थिंग्स विच आई वेरी ए बी टेस्टिंग भी कर पा रहा हूँ ए बी टेस्टिंग से पता चल जाएगा मेरे को कि फॉर्म फिलअप यहाँ पे चाहिए यहाँ पे चाहिए इमेज इतना बड़ा चाहिए इतना छोटा चाहिए टेक्स्ट कौन सा चाहिए सो आई कैन हैव मल्टीपल वेरिएशन एंड चेंज मल्टीपल थिंग्स राइट कलर भी चेंज कर सकता हूँ वेरिएशन ए और वेरिएशन बी में फॉर्म फिलअप की जस्ट हमने तो अभी एक ही चीज चेंज करा है प्लेसमेंट चेंज करा है आई कैन चेंज द इमेजेस ऑल्सो कीप एवरी थिंग सेम एंड इमेज फर्स्ट चेंज करता हूँ सो डी ऑल थिंग्स ठीक है सो यहाँ पे इंस्टा पेज मेरा ऑलरेडी इंस्टॉल्ड है बेसिकली otherwise uh, you have to go to the plugin section and then go to add new and then click on to uh, insta page all right so i think it's tea time let's take the tea and then after that we'll start with the app store optimization as the other thing okay i'll just stop the recording